Peace, everybody. This is Thomas Amal with another special edition of Conversation Corner. I just wanted to say how happy I am and thankful that I just have a group of people and my audience is expanding on a regular basis that are willing to give me the opportunity to just share some of my thoughts and my feelings on various different topics and conversations. So with that, I mean, I, I would go into my story, but just really briefly, you know, I was one of those that went through a different uh, type of adoption back in my day. And, you know, I became a teenage parent, a college dropout, um, and made my way, um, even though I had a really strong entrepreneur mindset at a very young age, um, I still made my way into the corporate world for almost 20 years. And it just, you know, it was not enough for me. And as many times as I tried to uh, develop and get better uh, in the businesses that I started, they would always fail. But with that, you know, I've been able to learn and, and I became a bundle of experiences. And now I just wanted to talk about something and a conversation that I had yesterday with a dear friend of mine that I've known for well over 20 years. And just to, you know, to give you a premise uh, ahead of it, a uh, headline, but back in the day, we were taught for years. He was single for a long period of time. And um, even though I'm going through the process of ending a relationship, um, um, he would not be in one and it would be more of a boyfriend girlfriend type relationship and you know we would have conversations and it would always come out that I was not going to take this I'm not going to deal with this I would just leave and I would always tell him that it's so much more to that especially when you're married when you're married you can't just get get up and walk away and he couldn't understand that well over the time he's eventually gotten married and he made a comment which showed me that he finally got it. He finally got it. And what he said was, is my relationship with my wife, my friendship with my wife, she's my best friend. My spouse is my best friend. And it's even better than the physical act. Intimacy. And when he said it, he said it with such passion and conviction that I finally said, I came to, I said, look, you have finally made it. Welcome to the world of being a married man or an, in a relationship that is more than just a boyfriend, girlfriend. But when it's marriage, there's a whole nother line that you cross over and you see things from a different light. And now he understood what I was saying. Friendship. It's not so much, you know, if you want, don't want to be married or you want to go through a divorce or whatever the case is, it's the friendship that you lose that is so hurtful. And when a person is able to end a relationship without being respectful or if a person is able to end a relationship without showing the common courtesy of saying that, you know what, we were the best of friends and I'll do everything that I can still not to hurt your feelings, but I would prefer to move on. And that is fine. Change is just a, necess a necessity of life. It happens. Some people change and they grow apart. But when it comes to friendships, and this is something that I think is really imperative, people don't take friendships as serious as they could. And they can just decide to leave whenever they want to. But it's not like that. That is so hurtful because one person can feel as though the friendship is on another level in comparison to what you may think. And some people may not want the friendship to be as strong as it is, but friendships. To actually have a person say, this is my friend, that means that there is a relationship, there is a connection, there is something that is within each other that is so strong, so strong. That you can't break it apart unless one of the two people break it apart. They decide. Remember, there's only three things that an individual has control over. What you think, what you perceive, you think, uh, what you think you see. Not what you see, but what you perceive and how you react to what you perceive. Those are the only things that you have control over. So with that, I strongly ask that you pay attention, recognize, and look back in your life and see what you've done when it's come to friendships and how you've reacted and see how people have reacted with you when it comes to friendships. So with that, Thomas Amal Conversation Corner, I look forward to hearing from you. Um, see, give me some words, give me some comments, talk to me. Let's talk about this friendship thing because it's very serious and I've seen a number of people come and go. But there's only a couple of people in my life that have always been my friend. And I will always, because I cherish it so much, and they always know that I'll always be there for them. Talk to you soon. Conversation Corner. Click the link below. Peace.
Hit me up on Facebook. Peace.